So there's right, a time. See, when I was in high school, yeah. okay, in the 1980s, I, went, I, was in, I was a freshman in 1981, and back then we were terrified of war with Russia. It was a terrifying fear of a nuclear war with the Soviet Union. And, and break this down to me. So it's like, is it you're you're watching the news and they keep is there like fear mongering? Do you believe it? Does it feel like propagandist? Hundred percent. There was fear mongering. Hmm. Um, there was a, a there was de look. It's always been if it bleeds, it leads yeah. in the news. Yeah. You know, we talk about how bad the news is today, but the reality is like five o'clock news, when you get home from work, it was always the worst shit that happened. Double homicide in yeah. Brooklyn. Yeah, yeah. It's always the worst shit of the day. And, and also out of perspective, because it's the worst shit out of millions and millions of people, right? But the big one was always Russia. Mm. And you would see the Soviet Union and you know, you would see their leaders and you would see their army and it was terrifying. Yeah. They they were the last great communist empire, yeah. you know, before China, right? Yeah. Before China really blew up militarily. Yeah. Back then, we weren't worried about China. Everybody was worried about the Soviet and Union. you felt fear. A hundred percent. Dude, what the fuck? Did he just say everything that you saw on the news was terrifying, fear-mongering tactics against the USSR while simultaneously being terrified of China? Like, like, dude, this is like uh, Ethan talking to the fucking kid about gay people choosing to be gay. It's like, brother, you arrived at the point. It's in front of you. Like, you can't, like, the dots are basically connected. Like, they're, they're literally touching one another. You just got to do a little bit of a push. I talked to my wife, and she's it. younger than me, and she felt the same thing. And some of my other friends, uh, I asked them, they grew up in different parts of the country, and they were like, oh, yeah, everyone was scared, scared of the fucking Russians, man. Like, there was all those movies like Red Dawn, where the Russians invade, we yeah. kick their fucking ass, yeah, yeah, send yeah. them back home. Yeah. You know, that was what everybody was afraid of. And then the wall fell. And so when the wall fell and the Soviet Union collapsed, mm. We have to realize, like, that was a monumental change in the world. Yeah. People relaxed. Yeah. Look, we relaxed. I was like, thank God. There's no more war anymore. So what year is this? What was the year was the uh, collapse of the wall? What, what year did they blow? The, I want to say, I want to say 89, 90? So then the 90s comes on, and then in What the year was it, Jamie? 89. 89. Okay, so 90s. So the 90s come along and no one's worried about war anymore. Yes. Is there a cultural apathy? Because well, the 90s. A lot of bad things were made in the 90s. Some of the worst American cars that have ever existed were made during the 90s. We got real sloppy in the 90s. <laughs> I look at like one of the things I look about with America, like how in tune America is. is it, what's is their the cars automobiles? like? What's their cars like? So, Space Race. Produces yeah. some of the most beautiful cars ever. Space race and psychedelic drugs. So space race is what correlation? Sixties. Yes. So you have all the cars that are coming 50s out. Fifties too. Fifties, sixties. Sixty-three was when Kennedy says yeah, yeah, we yeah, want to yeah, put the yeah, first yeah, man yeah. on the moon. So they're using all that crazy. Wait, in the objectively, today is probably the greatest for American vehicle manufacturing. Am I wrong? I thought there was never in the history of the United States of America have they ever actually, like, well, one, when the cars were first created, obviously, but, like, literally, everyone, okay, this is the worst, this is the worst audience to ask this because you guys are all American, and I feel like you're going to say, oh, no, dude, you're fucking wrong, uh, fuck you, but, like, globally speaking, most people clown on American vehicles, the joke is that American manufacturing is dog shit and that like they uh, all the helmet wearers uh, are, are working in the factory. So everything is all sorts of busted. Like that's what the that's what the international community's perspective is on American made vehicles in comparison to like literally German machinery even, which also has faults of its own or uh, Japanese vehicles, especially so. Yeah, fix it, fix or repair daily equals Ford. Yeah, Ford, fix or repair daily. 
international community equals Turks? No, I'm not even talking about fucking uh, Turkish people. Turkish people love America. I thought Americans clown on American-made cars even. Ford found on the road dead. I mean, there's still memes about Mustangs, dude. That's a nice-looking telephone pole. Be, be a shame if someone wrapped a, a Mustang around it type shit. You know what I mean? Helmet wearers, Lemafeo, bro, just call me R-worded. I mean, that was like what the joke was. Yes, they would say that like American workers. That yes, that is the joke. That's what they would. That's I'm not saying I'm saying that I was too young. I don't give a fuck. I I didn't understand it, but that's what I heard when I was younger. I'm pretty sure, like, obviously, design-wise, like, it's it's pretty dog shit now. Every car looks the same. You know, capitalism fosters innovation. You already know that. But as far as, like, I, I, and I'm not talking about, like, aesthetic design. As far as, like, quality builds, American uh, vehicle manufacturing has, like, genuinely improved its quality. It's probably the best quality that, uh, that uh, uh, you know, it's it's the most like internationally competitive levels of quality building uh now than ever before. Yeah, especially Tesla. No bitch, Tesla is actually the exception, not the rule, okay? No, I I'm just pre-99 Ford it, the UK with the rust buckets when the discontinued Escort swapped it for the Focus is quality went up 10x. Best manufacturing decade for US cars was 1925 to 1935. What? <laughs> okay. Yeah. I I already accounted for like I accounted for, uh, like, originally when, you know, originally when, you know, the, 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 the combustion engine uh, vehicle was, was developed, yes, when there wasn't a lot of competition. Space influence or like spaceship influence on the cars and not, there's no restrictions right not like, much not much space influence really i uh, mean some of these big like what is it the big cadillacs and stuff like mm -hmm. that they look like a fucking spaceship they do. right yeah the old ones and there was no restrictions yeah. right like you didn't have to go okay it has to have this much gas mileage right or none of that you could no just airbags. make whatever the fuck you wanted yeah. to make and then okay so that goes away and then psychedelics are 70s well psychedelics are 60s oh yes and then the seven in 1970 they passed this sweet sweeping schedule one psychedelic act that makes all those drugs schedule one forbidden drugs all there is no way he's claiming that like psychedelics played a role in like american vehicle design right am i crazy there's no shot what How did he get the psychedelics from, like, he got the USSR collapse, the fucking, uh, you know, America making the best cars back in the day, to, like, psychedelics being a, playing a role? Where is this convo going, dude? That's awesome. I mean, this is, like, closer to fucking, I'll admit, this is closer to, like, old Joe Rogan than new Joe Rogan, so I'll take it. Like, actually, you know what I mean? At least he's not, like, talking about how Ron DeSantis and Ron DeSantis is going to, like, eliminate gay books and, uh, and, and make it illegal to have kitty litter at fucking schools and that there won't be any top-of-the-hour ad breaks any longer. You know what I mean? Because at the top of the hour, there's a three-minute ad break, and if you no longer want to see those ads, all you need to do is subscribe. 
which you could do for five dollars or for free with the Twitch Prime by connecting your Amazon Prime account to your Twitch account or by getting gifted a sub if you're lucky. Tink, thank you for the five gifted subs. Allowing five people to no longer see the ads. Here's the three minute ad break now. All the drugs that are non-toxic, like psilocybin, like things that your Mello. body makes, like dimethyltryptamine, lemon all, jello, all those things That's become DMT. Yeah, Thank you for the five. You can schedule one, and then automobile I gotta pee. drops off a fucking cliff. <laughs> I mean, drops off That's a cliff. It, it's not totally. I mean, there's a correlation. It's yeah. not, maybe not totally the cause because it coincides with the uh, gas crisis. So there's a gas crisis. Where now you like, have to consider gas, gas mileage in a car. Exactly. That's interesting. That's right. So 70s is what happens when do we do, when do we remove the gold standard from the dollar that's that's a good question 73 or something like that this is good tequila dude this yeah, is yours not bad. yeah 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 what's yeah, it yeah. called los sundays dude, it's, it's good right tasty. the repo is crazy yeah it's very tasty yeah mm. i was pre prepared for some fucking antifreeze no 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 that's good that's legit but yeah, yeah, and then we get what is it? There's the whole like petrodollar thing that comes out after that, where they have to. I'm not aware of all that stuff. I'm not good at that stuff. I um, think this is just where we make the deal where it's like oil has to be sold in U.S. dollars, and now we have a backing for the dollar. Mm. When for a while we didn't, right? When we removed that gold standard. Who was it? Nixon to remove the gold standard. Seventy one. But yeah. um, and now we're in that situation right now where you know most you know, oil is sold in U.S. dollars, and then those countries that decide not to, if we're going to get conspiratorial, those people who have decided maybe they won't sell it, you know, in U.S. dollars, they have uh, difficulty staying in power. Yeah. That's it? Yeah. Moist moguls versus MXM. Have you seen this? I have not. Oh, I have, yeah. 